hello friend welcome to tech advice channel so friend in this video i'm going to show you that how can you get your uh, last value uh, of a result um, and then fill up that one for the rest of the uh, null value so if you're watching this video please subscribe my channel and uh, press the bell icon so let's start uh, that uh, the process basically uh, first of all we have to go to our our, our cloud console bigquery project uh, so i have a, a cloud console project so let me go to there okay uh, so here is my uh, cloud console project basically so i have a, a tech ods project where i have to go to like just i click on bigquery then i can see that there are, i have a uh, like uh, some project so basically here i have selected that tech ods project and some other project also i have some public project also have uh, so uh, in the tech ods basically uh, you can see here i have uh, some multiple data set basically so uh, here i have created one data set first value so inside the first value basically i have created one table is so called raw data so let me show you that uh, that raw data uh, data basically is is a, is a, is a basically the spreadsheet so let me go to the spreadsheet and and show you that uh, the value in there uh, so here is my spreadsheet so here i have a raw data it's been like uh, okay now this one yeah the l3 one yeah here you can see the raw data some somewhere at size at size at price at quantity is blank basically so based on the uh, like uh, you know user input from the front end so basically i got but the the, the sequence id have uh, you know all the data have sequence id so based on the sequence id i have to fill up that okay uh, this type of value you can see here over the time i have a bit price ask price bit size ask size and the sequence number so based on the that that over the time i have a sequence number also and based on the sequence number i have to fill up all the record if some record is uh, you know blank so i have to take that last sequence of over the time and then fill up uh, that value for the next one so here just uh, show you that uh, um, my query basically uh, from this table and just i select that few uh, selected uh, column which one i require for this uh, you know purpose like last value uh, to show you or get that result basically so i have selected here few few columns here you can see here mm, so let me run it so here once i run it then you can see that i got the data uh, from from my uh, spreadsheet but in the data here you can see that some some result is basically blank and some some data is basically is not uh, showing here because you know uh, based on the sequence sometime order price is present that the base price is not present okay so that's why uh, my purpose is that uh, i have to fill up that one uh, so here then uh, i give it as a level one because the data is coming from the source so here i give the level one and i use here some case condition so basically this case condition is uh, it can be different uh, based on your 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 uh, use case so i just use uh, some case condition as my uh, as per my uh, you know uh, use case here uh, so to um, get the data and after this one i just fill up the last value of that particular sequence over the time so let me run it and then show you that okay what is my case condition or uh, what i'm using so basically here i'm uh, using the simple case condition uh, case when that add, add side equal to buy and uh, delete order uh, id is null then add price so it's basically the price so here you see that uh, when i use this one it's showing that blank so now my main purpose is that i i have to get the result like this okay so i have to fill up all the columns here okay that single row basically but here is in my result is coming that blank so for this i have to take that last value of that sequence over the time and then fill up it uh, over here okay so uh, for that i have to create a level two uh, so basically level two is getting a feeding by level one so here just i use uh, okay i just uh, click here so okay uh, so level two here just i select that uh, that's a few column uh, so here i just select time sequence id order id add uh, side okay add size okay uh, so now i just put it at level one and let me run it and then show you okay i just put a condition basically where order id is not null because uh, sometimes order id is null so the if the order id is null then they are there that should like uh, no any uh, not make sense basically because if if the order id is uh, null then it will not show you the any result so i just use that condition so now uh, still uh, you can see that we have uh, we have a result where we see that okay add side okay uh, so all 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 the data is showing now i use that last value for that particular column where i need to fill up 
uh, that last value. So when I use the last value of uh, the bid price, uh, ignore nulls over the ordered by time. Okay. So basically, over the time, I am taking of the, of the last bid price. Okay, and then fill it up for the null one. Okay. So now you can see here when I run this one, then I I get the result with the uh, fill up of last value. So here you can see. Okay, here one thing I can say that the first three uh, uh, three one is that you see that it's showing blank. Why it's showing? Because the la that three one is the first one of that raw data. So there is no any last value for that first three one. So that's why I cannot get it. Uh, basically, it's a sequence number based on the sequence number, right? So uh, that sequence is the first recorded. You can you can say so. That's why that three we have to ignore because there is uh, nothing can do. But the rest you can see. Rest is already fill it up based on the sequence number last and over the time. Okay. So now you see the result. If I just ignore that three result only, uh, if I just uh, use also some other condition, okay, for that I just ignore that three one. So what I should do, I just use that case condition. Uh, okay, uh, here I can just select that uh, level three. I can do it. Okay, I can do level another level, and where I use that case condition, that case condition, that where uh, that uh, add uh, as price is not null. Okay. So when I, I do this one, that's up, up, up three, one, three uh, row will be uh, like uh, ignored. And then uh, you can see that all the rest or data will be shown here. So basically you can see that result, my result is matching with that required result, which one I, 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 I show you in the first very beginning time, basically. Uh, so let me check it out that, okay, is that is there, uh, the data is matching or not? Um, so now you can see uh, the sequence number here, over the time, all the data is filled up. So now I, I just uh, show you that, okay, first one, uh, first record, okay, let me go to the first record. You can say the timing basically and the data, okay, and that and, and also that you can see that uh, result here. What I show you in the very first uh, time, basically, you see that over the time, uh, it is the time the same, the data also same. The second one also, you see that says second one also the same. All all sequence are same result. So basically, here you can see that already it is filled it up with the last value recorded over the time okay so there is no any null value uh, so uh, so now this way basically you can you can you can uh, fill it up your your null value and just show the last value as it is also i can suggest to that okay something and sometime we need to record that first value first value of that uh, sequence so you can go with the first value also that one i'll show you uh, in my next video so that's all guys uh, here is uh, all about the last value if you like this video please uh, subscribe this channel like share and comment and if you have some kind of suggestion or some some uh, questions so please write down to me thank you friend thank you for watching this video thank you very much